Hey everybody, how you doing? It's your boy Big Red. This will be my first ever real talk, like in-depth unboxing video. Um, I hope you enjoy. Um, today I'm gonna bring to you the 8-bit duo arcade stick. It comes with multiple functions. I just got an Amazon. This was all this footage was recorded about a year ago, but things happened in life, so I wasn't able to do it. It's been on the back burner, but here I am today editing and making this content. Anyway, I shipped it from Amazon. It cost me about retail $89.99. I got it for a little bit of a discount. I got it for 75 bucks. I had a code for 8-bit duo. I have followed and subscribed to their email listing. And I got like 15% off of purchase. So I got it for like 70 something bucks. That's with the shipping included. Um, what I like to notice is that it is reminiscent of a 1990s, 1980s Nintendo Entertainment System style arcade stick. Like the whole design is retro. Um, that is actually the market and the use for this product, retro gaming, such as Galaga, Dig Dug, Donkey Kong, Street Fighter, things of that nature. I, I personally use it for competitive fighting, but that's just my thing. Um, this is the box here in this full rotation. We got information on the back, description of little items here and there. Forgive my finger my fingernails and my toenails. Almost Godzilla-like. Quick zoom in here. You can use this on platforms such as Switch, Windows, Steam, and Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi, I have not personally tested it myself because it's mostly like a miniature supercomputer or a miniature arcade emulator. It's a small box you can make. It's a home kind of, but uh, it's compatible with all those platforms. Unfortunately, I have tried it on my PlayStation soft, my PlayStation systems and it does not work. It, it doesn't work. PS3, PS4, PS5, it does not work. And I'm not sure about Mac. I've never plugged in Mac computer, but here we are unboxing the product. there we go so if you take a look at the packaging it is pretty well kept it has two pieces of large styrofoam with our 10 foot usb c type cable um i have used this to charge my personal cell phone because it does work everything else it's not your arcade stick um there's that and um yeah that's about it just take this bad boy out the box completely let's fast forward a little bit these are the instructions course and just fast forward this a little bit and there it is it is the 8-bit duo arcade stick live and direct in your face thing. and um i am i i have enjoyed this purchase so far For most of my dragon ball fighters videos that you have seen in the past year i'm using this or my playstation 4 controller there is me that's me with my big beautiful beard and mustache using my cell phone <laughs> as a camera and there goes the toes i was talking about uh, the, the grip and the feels are very well there. Were, of course, there were films of plastic over each button for protective reasons. So nothing gets damaged in transit to the customer's house or location. And um, I take these off. Um, as you can see, there are eight face buttons. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, and they are sequenced with your Xbox or PC switch buttons. Um, there will be a little analog button. There, there will be a little switch up top that will change the labeling of these buttons live. It's pretty crazy. Underneath that black film by the buttons there, um, there are LED lights under each button and it will notify, it will um, label or it lights up with a letter corresponding to each button you press and it will swap out from Xbox slash PC um, buttons to switch buttons. So it'll set, instead of saying X, A, Y, B, it'll say A, B, X, Y for the switch with the uh, L, Z, R, Z, L, R. That's pretty cool. Those two top buttons on the right there, you can program those for shortcuts or macros I actually, I personally, me, like when I do play Street Fighter or things of that nature, I like to shortcut those two buttons for Hadouken and Shoryuken. Um, mostly the Shoryuken because I hate doing the Z input. Kind of annoying. The actual joystick is quite responsive. It's a four, it's a square gate. It's not octagonal or, you know, pentagonal, whatever. It's a four gate square switches. Um, on the top there, yep, that little switch touch. That will actually switch out to the different, um, Outputs for Switch or PC slash Xbox. Swaps back and forth. There is a little you a Bluetooth adapter in the back here. I'm gonna... There is a <laughs> there is a little Bluetooth adapter in that little slot I pulled the paper from. You pull that out, and you would plug this into your PC or Switch Xbox console, and it will register. It will make it a Bluetooth connection instead of it being um wired or. Yeah, instead of it being wired, it'll be a wireless connection. There's a 2.4 gigahertz GZ, GHZ, whatever connection. And there's like the Bluetooth. That little dongle there will actually um, act as the receiver on any device you use, such as Xbox, Switch. I personally use the cable because I'm just used to the arcade field. The nice little 8-bit duo logo there on the front. Pretty interesting. Um, 
yeah we're gonna put it back into this spot real quick it's a really nice hidden compartment down here that doesn't break the the feeling or the shape of the actual product itself and you can also um store your usb cable there's a usb type c that's where you would plug your usb cable you have opposite and there and um plug it into your computer it's pretty interesting it's for size shape back there eight bit arcade stick model number serial code blah blah blah, blah. and those front facing buttons are very quite 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 um i think at this point i do compare it to my um may may flash f300 fight stick yeah there you go. it is roughly the same size may the may flash is is a little bit it's quite smaller maybe about an inch um but eight buttons square gate little um d-pad um right stick left stick selector there on that may flash f300 fight stick personally between the two i still play with the may flash f300 due to the simple fact that i've become accustomed to the buttons there's quite there's a, there's a substantial spring back from the buttons but compared to this one over here it's just a more sleeker feel that's where the thumbs up comes from so this is me testing it out on the steam uh, big picture mode collecting games and whatnot Got it. Fix that. That's about it. Huh? This has been the eight bit dough arcade stick. Um, Hopefully you guys get your hands on one. They're actually pretty neat. They're pretty neat. I like them. Um, as for daily use, I do go back to my Mayflash F300 just because it is just universally used. Uh, PC, PS, PS, Xbox, Switch, you name it, Mac. Like I can literally control my TV with it, like a remote. Con it's crazy. But um, for those of you that do like to just play fighting games and want something that's that's like you could pick up and take into the next room and not really have to fiddle around with it too much. This has a Bluetooth adapter. My Mayflash F300 does not have a Bluetooth adapter, so 8-bit dough, it could, it's pretty useful. Um, that's all I got to say on it so far. I'm about to go play some Street Fighter.